Both of these guys definitely hungry to try and get to that loser's finals, where they'll have a shot against Democat to try and bring this one through. So, we'll have to find out. Are they both in? Yep. We'll go. We're good to start. All right, good luck to both players. Let's see if they can pull this one, or who, I should say, can pull this one out. Justin Cat versus Jasper. Best of five series. Good luck to the both of them, or at least I believe it's best of five. Fear if you're in here, let me know if uh, otherwise, brother. That was what I was told by Buried, and just want to make sure I'm going correctly based on what is in the series here, so. But uh, yeah, this one's going to probably be a bit aggressive. Both of these players have faced a lot of aggressive players here tonight, so as the night has gone on, both guys have gotten a lot more, uh, you know, physical, so we'll see what happens, and uh, well... I was going to say, we start off physical, but no, instead, Jasper somehow dodges all the physicality, doesn't even go for the 50 to try and contest Justin, instead lets him flick it well above his goal, as a result, Jasper's got an open net to shoot upon. Uh, hmm, Siri says best of three? Totally fine. I'll let the guys know that it's best of three just ahead of time after this game. I'm fine to do a best of three, to be honest. that's uh, That works for me. Uh, after streaming for so long, I'm just nervous that it's going to crash on me again. So we'll just run with the best of three and let it play out from here on out. As Justin looks to put in his first goal and indeed will slot it into the left side of the, f of the goal. Trying to, I was going to say the field. That's definitely not correct. <laughs> Unfortunately for Jasper, just a little bit too late on the uh, catch up there. Not quite able to make a 50 on the ball. It's just an open shot to hit the back of the net. Justin Cap has a name too close to JNAPS. I know, dude. All day I've been wanting to call him JNAPS, but I just won't. And, uh, I mean, listen, it might be easier, but it's not going to really make much of a difference to, to Justin, I don't think, if... Uh, to Justin if we call him by a mistaken name. As long as he's at least dominating and playing well, he's fine with whatever we call him. Unfortunately for right now, not quite the domination that he's looking for. Last time we saw Justin play, he was finally able to keep the, these games close against Mo once he got a little bit warm. Might just have to be the same thing here. Starting off with not the strongest beginning here. And now Jasper, again, another good save is going to lead him to an open net on the other end, and he's not going to miss this one. 3-1 to one now. Four minutes left. Jasper is extremely quick on this one. It's very well done out of him to just absolutely run it the minute that he gets the ball. And it's something we've seen a lot of players do here today is that they are very quick once they do get possession because they're just not trying to waste time. So many people have been having these early 50s, I guess is the best way to put it. And as a result, so many players are starting to not necessarily get tilted, but they're getting extremely aggressive because of it. And speaking of which, Justin gets very aggressive on that one. And he might be able to put this one through. Not quite. Jasper with a phenomenal save to keep this one out. And it's actually going to work as a clear as well. Justin's all the way back into his own half. He's got to be very careful here. Indeed, though, he does pull away with possession. Jasper has to make a save in front of his net now, and on low boost, he's got to be careful. Justin definitely has more boost than him, but didn't have a clean enough possession for it to matter. As he's now back on his own half yet again. A bit of ping pong going back and forth between these two players. The question now becomes is who's the first one to get a goal next as both of these guys are unrelenting right now, not giving a little bit of space to either one. Justin Cap again with another early challenge. This one not going to work out for him, though, as he doesn't have the boost to save this. But he's going to let Jasper try to make, or I was going to say make a goal is what I should have said for Justin. But the minute I say that, I get distracted by Jasper going for the ceiling save. And, uh, well, the squishy save's not necessarily going to work out for you there. A little bit of an overcommitment, and Justin's going to have an open net to shoot upon. Jasper, that was a bit reckless, my friend. You're going to have to try and play a little bit more careful if you want to win this one. You absolutely know at this high level of competition, one small mistake like that is going to get capitalized extremely quickly. Justin Cap, though, speaking of mistakes, gave a little bit too much room for the shot there out of Justin, or out of uh, Jasper. Jasper didn't have that punishing of a shot, though, so it's not going to make much of a difference. And speaking of not punishing shots, Justin also going off target on the other end. Both these players may be a little bit nervous now here, as they do know this is make or break. Whichever one of these two players is goes out here, well, they go out entirely. This is the loser semis final, so they both already lost one today. Oh, and speaking of the nerves, Justin misses an open net. Is it at least able to get the rebound? Unfortunately for Justin Cap, though, this is just kind of the be 
This is kind of a showing of what we had seen previously. These guys are not necessarily hitting the accuracy they need right now. Luckily for Justin, he's still going to be able to get the rebound and tie up this game. But again, if they continue to have issues with accuracy, it can really plague them further into the series. Justin Cap trying to dive on this one out at midfield again with these early challenges. Buried saying in chat that he likes Justin's play style. And honestly, I can't disagree with you here. He's played extremely aggressive, but it's working out for him. The only other player that it didn't really work against, oh my lord, as Justin just barely misses a shot, was against Mo. I think I mentioned it during their series or just after their series, but I knew Justin was a pretty aggressive player going into this. I was interested to see how it would work against Mo, as Mo is good at, you know, varying up his pace. And unfortunately for Justin, when he got aggressive, so did Mo, and Mo just knew how to keep up with the pace. Speaking of keeping up with the pace, Jasper absolutely knows what to do here from the midfield. Just breaks this one down, plays it a bit slowly, sees the overcommitment from Justin in the corner, and flicks it too far away for him to get a touch. Yeah, that's it. Again, for Justin, if his style works, it's extremely tilting, it's extremely aggressive, and it works pretty much picture perfect. But again, it's got to work picture perfect. If he has any small mistakes, they're incredibly highlighted. And unfortunately for him, it doesn't always work out. Fortunately on this one, though, I should say. I guess, unfortunately, is really the wrong time there. Caster's Curse had to come out at the wrong time. As he gets extremely aggressive, tries to go for the bump here, and just throws Jasper out of position. 4-4 four four now. 113 left. There's not a lot of time for either player to score a lot of goals, so you got to know that every goal here is going to count 12 times, or I don't know why 12, but just exponentially more than what uh, any of the goals before would count for here, as Justin tries to gain possession at midfield. Does not gain possession, though. Without being able to, Jasper's got an open net to shoot upon. You can tell Justin just wanted to kind of carry this one after dodging Jasper, but when he has the, let's call it a lackluster fo follow-up flick, it's going to be a nice shot in the chat that's gonna, I gotta imagine, be a little bit tilting for uh, for Justin. <laughs> oh snap, a bunch of people came. Yeah, indeed, uh, gentlemen, a bunch of people have shown up. Oh my lord, similarly to how Jasper's showing up to make the save on the line here. You gotta be kidding me. Jasper holding on, resilience being his strongest suit right now. And again, another good challenge from Jasper at midfield is going to give him a goal, 6-4. to four. Jasper just increasing his lead now. Still time for Justin to come back here, but unfortunately, it's not going to be as easy as before. That one goal deficit turned into two. And with 30 seconds left, he's going to have to try and make this quick. Does win kickoff, though, so this is good for him. Ooh, and the shot, though, again, accuracy continuing to plague these players here as Justin goes bar and out, and Jasper makes a great save on the follow-up, and now that he's got an open net, I gotta imagine that is gonna be the nail in the coffin. 12 seconds left, Jasper gonna go up three. My word, Jasper having a phenomenal back half and turning that into a quick counterattack. 12 seconds left now. I mean, again, it's possible for Justin to try and make this one back if he just gets three good kickoff goals in a row, but uh, without being able to get said initial kickoff goal, and as Jasper is going to just waste the time here and dribble this one out, this one's going to go to Jasper. Game number one definitively going to him. He might be able to increase the scoreline here, though, as he tries to put in an eighth goal. Justin not going to let him. Regardless, Jasper going to take game number one here in this best of three. Let me let these players know as well. Let me know, just let them know that this is still a best of three. All right, there we go. We're ready to go. Let's keep on moving through. GG's all around. All right, and here we go. Game number two. This is make or break for Justin Cap. Justin has lost one game already. Is the loser's finals best of five? I don't know. That's a question for fear, I'd imagine, uh, as he's going to be the one uh, broadcasting that. After this, I'm out for the night. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support tonight. Tonight has been an absolute blast to cast, and it's because of plays like that. Justin with a phenomenal save on the air dribble just does not allow Jasper to easily glide that one in. And as a result, Jasper is going to have to retry this one from the midfield. Definitely not too uncomfortable doing so, but just doesn't have the boost to get in front of that shot. And as a result, Justin will finally get his offense on for the first time in this game. Bit of an early flick probably wasn't the wisest decision as Jasper now has possession and a ton of boost to run with. 
Justin's got to be careful here. If Jasper gets one good possession here with his... Oh, I was going to say with his zero boost, he's going to be able to run on it. But a good midfield steal is going to allow Justin to try again on offense. Jasper again, though, still not giving a lot of space to Justin. Similarly to what Justin was doing in the last game, Jasper knows when he needs to challenge and when to try and go for boost. Speaking of which, he gave him plenty of time to set up that shot. I knew the angle was going to be tough and take time to get a good one. And without it coming, it's going to, ooh, unfortunately go the other way. A great save out of Justin Cap to stop that one from going in. But Jasper, just a bit too speedy on the recovery. Maybe not. He took a little bit long to rip off a shot there. And Justin somehow gets back for the save. My word, very well done out of Justin Cap here in game number two. He looks very hesitant in all the right ways right now. Asper, though, not looking hesitant at all. Very speedy to almost all of the challenges right now. Trying to definitely suppress Justin when it comes to most of his offense. In the last game, we saw Justin playing this tactic a lot, playing very aggressive and not giving any space for Jasper to set up anything. Now it's Jasper's turn to do the same thing. And for the one second he doesn't give an early challenge, Justin is going to shoot this one on target. This is unfortunate. Jasper needed to get at least some sort of touch there in, tr in order to be a nuisance and mess up the shot out of Jas or out of uh, Justin. But he doesn't make any touch, and Justin finally gets a shot on target there. Accuracy had been an issue for him previously, but thankfully he's finally figured this one out now. Unfortunately, his defense is going to break down at the wrong time. And after fighting for almost two minutes to get that first goal, Jasper is going to have a kickoff goal and even this one back on out. 2.56 left now. One to one. Plenty of time for either of these players to start running away with this one. But at the same time, this has been so close here in game number two. First game looked a little bit more one-sided. This one is not looking one-sided at all. Jasper makes a nice shot, but Justin's save is absolutely ridiculous. Justin Cap does not want to go down here. He's aware that every goal in this series is going to come far and few. So he cannot allow an easy shot to go in. Unfortunately, he is going to allow the Follow-up flick from Jasper to go through. Jasper with a quick flick here and pops this one barely over Justin's head. Phenomenal phenomenal accuracy there out of Jasper is going to keep him in the lead here now. As Jasper goes to the sky again, he's been deadly from here many times before and he'll be deadly from here one more time. 1-3 to three now, 2.24 left on the clock, and Jasper might just start pulling away with this one now. Phenomenal shot. Jasper's mechanics, oh my, that's, yeah, bitchy, oh my indeed. <laughs> just insane. However, as good as your mechanics may be, if you don't have a kickoff that's going to be up to par, it's not going to matter. Justin delays Hicks' kickoff and takes a goal back to at least keep this one within one. Justin going to have to at least try a couple kickoff goals to give himself the momentum here. As Jasper, as you said, his mechanics are absolutely up to par right now. And it's going to be very hard for Justin to keep up if Jasper starts absolutely, uh, what is it? Uh, not tilting, I guess cracking on him. That's not the word I'm looking for. Peaking. Peaking is the word I'm looking for because we all know that if you have a player that's feeling confident and they've got the mechanics to back up, it's all of a sudden just a... Uh, it's just a style show. It's a free, uh, what's it called? It's a freestyle show where both players just kind of just take insane shots. That one, a little bit more traditional of a shot out of Justin and Jasper making also a traditional save. Now Jasper's got the time and space to set up an air dribble. Not quite able to force that one through and actually going to give up a goal to Justin because of the overcommitment on offense. Unfortunate for Justin or for Jasper here. He tries diving into the follow-up of the dunk and it just doesn't quite go his way. And as a result, he's completely out of defense. And Justin gets an opportunity to tie this one up again. If Justin does not win this one, it's going to Jasper entirely. As Jasper regains his lead in a four to three kickoff goal. But yeah, for Justin, if he doesn't make this one, this is the end of his run here in the open qualifiers for day number one. If you guys do want a shot, though, if you weren't able to sign up today or you want to go ahead and uh, just sign up anyways after not initially thinking you want to, 
there is tomorrow's open qualifiers as well. But you're going to have to try and face competition like that. Justin making an insane save there. This is what you got to expect, though, if you're hitting open quals. Again, if you are diamond and below, you know, whatever rank you want, go ahead, be my guest and uh, try. But eventually, you got to know that the competition like this is going to arise. And they're just going to style on you all day. Jasper puts in his fifth goal off a phenomenal 50-50 in front of the net. My word, look at the dunk. You're actually a beast at goalkeeping. Yeah, again, here's the thing for Justin. Even if he doesn't lose this series, or even if he does lose this series, I hope he understands how incredibly well he's playing in this game. He's keeping this super close. There's a there are many scenarios here where Jasper gets completely out of hand. Justin, though, not going to let that one happen. Initially, two goals wasn't out of hands, but you know what's even closer? One goal. Jasper gets bumped out of the way here, and Justin has given himself an opportunity to try and bring this one back. 59 seconds on the clock. Justin needs one goal to send us to overtime, two goals to win this one and keep the series going. But as Jasper wins this kickoff, oh, my Lord. And has one of the nicest flicks we've seen all day. It's looking less and less likely. Oh my lord. That is just ridiculous. Listen, I know Jasper that that one was uh, something you feel like you could have saved. But the accuracy there. Just oh my oh my. Justin though is going to win this follow up kickoff. If he can score here he's definitely going to keep himself in the series. But he's unfortunately not going to get the demo off the dribble. Instead only gets the bump. And the momentum from Jasper's hit is going to pop him into the ball. Forcing that dribble to not work. But he'll at least get the 50 out of midfield to bring this one within one. This early challenge out of Justin is absolutely going to work out for him. We had seen this the first game a little bit. But now he's bringing it out exactly when it counts here in game number two. Five to six. 28 seconds left. As we're going to try to run with this one. He indeed will. He's going to get the flick out, but Justin's going to at least get the 50, and Jasper, I think, is a bit too far out. He's not going to be able to get the save here, and Justin has tied this game up. 18 seconds left. Justin, you have done a great job to bring this one back now, sir. You've only gotten 18 seconds to just bring this to overtime and keep your momentum going. For Jasper, this is uh, it's, it would be great to sweep the series, but it's not make or break for him. For Justin, this is. And as Justin goes for one last challenge, he's going to put in the seventh goal. Eight seconds left here now, and Justin is taking the lead. I'm sorry, Jasper, but we got to watch this one back, brother. This is just too perfect. My, oh, my, Justin. Eight seconds left now. Jasper going to try and run with this one, but he's not going to be able to. Justin's going to interrupt him very early, but he is going to have one last opportunity. Tries to, I think, fake out the air dribble bump. And unfortunately, it's not going to work. Justin reads that one like a book and keeps out that seventh goal in order to win the series seven, or win the game seven to six. Series not quite done yet, though. We're at one to one, ladies and gents. We've got oh, another game on our hands. This is the Night Owl bump. This it is the it's the Fear 500. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I'll, I'll remember to call it the Night Owl bump. I'll I'll make sure. I'll make sure. All right, game number three, one to one. This is now make or break for both players. They lose here. They are out of this qualifier. They've got a chance tomorrow, but they'd much rather put in the the efforts of today. Would much rather be put through. Uh, and honestly, I don't blame them. After playing so many games here today, they're definitely probably mentally exhausted to have to go redo all of this tomorrow. It's definitely going to be a bit demoralizing, but they still definitely have the shot, and either of these players definitely have the prowess and the potential to be able to win tomorrow's qualifier. But for right now, that isn't the focus. Right now, the focus is just making it out of this game and making it to the loser's finals. And right now, it's looking like Justin might just be able to do that. Two goals in a row already within 18 seconds now. Giving himself a very early lead here. And he might just put in a third if he challenges this correctly. Not quite, though. And actually, instead, it's going to go the other way. From looking like it could be a three-goal lead to now only a one-goal lead. Jasper with a quick response. 
Is it already said who are the four guaranteed people in the tourney? No, no, not yet. So, uh, for all of this, Nate, basically today there are two people qualifying from this close or from this open qualifier into the close. Tomorrow there will be another two players to play, and then we've got a giant roster for the close qualifier made up of tons of of North America's top one v one talent. So, if you want more info on that, go check out Fear's Twitter where he's got the full lineup. In the meanwhile, though, we got to take a second to recognize that Jack. Jasper just missed a pretty open net, and unfortunately, he's going to stay down 1-0. to zero. That could have been a huge momentum swing, and instead, Justin's going to actually take a 3-1 to one lead. That could be really, really crucial for Jasper down the line. Unfortunate. Jasper, though, going to try and control this one up at midfield. If he gets a three-goal lead here this early, this is going to be extremely difficult for Jasper to come back from, especially when his challenges are on point on defense here. Jasper tries to get a demo to at least throw off Justin, but Justin dodging that and actually staying with the play while at zero boost. Doesn't even pick up that 12-pad, though, and Jasper saw that one coming and flicked it just barely above him. Unfortunate for Justin there. If he had picked up that small pad in front of the net, he might have been able to get to the save, but with literally zero boost in the tank, there was not much he could do there. Yes, we're going to try and run with this one. But misses the follow-up touch, so he's going to give it up to Justin here. Justin had a much lower amount of boost, though, and Jasper knew that one. Jasper now, with a very good challenge, is going to lead him to a third goal now, and that entire lead has been erased for Justin Cap now. Justin Cap was up 3 to 1 in this series and now at 321 left in the game it has been tied back up. Jasper had already taken the 12 pad. Yeah, that's what I, that's very fair. I guess I probably should have been observing that and more mentioning that. I did notice that it was already gone, but at the same time, yeah, I think that's probably something that Jasper was more than well aware of is that he's uh, completely boost starving him at this point. Jasper's done a good job to kind of repeat that. I I think every time I've mentioned this in previous uh, 1v1 cast it's uh, something that you see a lot of the top level players do is that if they aren't going to get a successful shot in and they know it might as well just go steal the boost and keep their opponent in an awkward position and right now is exactly what Jasper is doing unfortunately it's not really working out to his favor as Justin has retaken the lead here four to three but he's at least playing well enough that he might have a chance to bring this one back 252 left in this game but as Justin lets off another shot Jasper's I was going to say got to be careful and he will not be careful. Justin going to grab that 5-3 to three lead here off of another mishap on the back half out of Jasper. I believe that happened earlier in this game where Jasper tried to make a bit of a weird save and just completely whiffed it. And unfortunately, it's another another one of those instances. And it's going to be at the wrong time for sure. 5-3, to 6-3 to three now as Justin makes another phenomenal challenge at the midfield. Barry, Barry was talking about earlier how it's really impressive to see Justin play this close of a defense and just not give any room to his opponents. And he continues that trend here in the loser semis. He is just absolutely absolutely aggressive he's a beast on the field right now not giving any room for Jasper to set up some solid plays Ooh, okay well he's gonna get one solid playoff not much of a setup there but that is a phenomenal 50 50 in front of the net here out of Jasper recognizing that Justin doesn't have enough power to really pop that one out and just has to slam it into the top right corner half the game left now two goal deficit definitely still possible for Jasper but He's going to have to start moving quick. If Justin gets any more of a lead here, it's going to be a very, very hard time for him to come back. Oh, especially with flicks like that. Jasper does make a phenomenal save on the back half here, but Justin, you can tell he's getting warm with his shots. He's having issues with accuracy a little bit before this, but those accuracy issues have definitely dissipated. And similarly, the accuracy issues for Jasper have dissipated as well. This is a tough angle for sure, but it's a great shot to pop around Justin. Very well done. Six to five now, 209. Jasper definitely still has the time to bring this one back. And as we've seen before, he's deadly enough to do so in a very short amount of time. But not if Justin gets this amount of time in air. How on earth did Jasper time that correctly? 
That flip reset was said and done, and somehow he was still able to make the save, and now he's on the other end looking for the double tap, not quite able to get it. Jasper would have had a very, very pretty goal there, but instead it's the remarkable defense of Justin that's going to be the highlight on this play. Makes two good saves in a row, and now here he comes with a ceiling shot, not quite, decides to ditch it. But still, again, phenomenal defense for Justin here. That's definitely the biggest thing to take away from this series. Even Jasper had to admit it. The defense on the back half has been good for Justin up into that play. The caster's curse did come out a little bit there as Justin gets into an awkward position on the wall and Jasper slots that one in. But again, yeah, man, it's just over and over again. Good defense. Unfortunately for Justin, he's got to keep the offense up as well, but he's going to be able to do so as he does slot in the kickoff goal, so he regains his lead very quickly. But again, he's got to be careful. He can't rely on kickoff goals here because if Jasper does score another goal and we go back to a kickoff, it's tied up, and Jasper definitely has the momentum on his side right now. He was down 6-4 to four previously, tied it up at 6-6, six to six, and since Justin got that one kickoff goal, he will take the lead momentarily. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe a little bit more than momentarily. The early challenge seen a mile away by Justin here recognizes that Jasper is about a challenge and just flicks it well over his head to bring it to 8-6 to six now. 108 left in this game. Definitely still time. Jasper needs to move quickly, though. And a good fake out at midfield is going to buy himself a little bit of possession, but the early challenge from Justin again. And this is something we saw earlier at a Mo. He doesn't necessarily need to nail shots like this. He just needs to be enough of a nuisance that he doesn't allow time for Jasper to score. Oh, my Lord. And I think that might be it. Yup, Jasper are going to get tilted out of that one. That bump in front of the net will do it. Justin puts in his ninth and final goals as Jasper dips on out. 9-6, to six, the final score. Justin will take this one 2-1. to one. My Oh my, that, I, listen, hey, I agree with you in chat, Suj, I, I think he definitely could have brought that one back, but you know what, if the momentum's not in your favor, if you can just tell that one player is starting to play out their mind, sometimes you gotta just call it quits early for your own mental uh, well-being and just go, you know what, I lost today, but I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully we get to see another shot out of Jasper, as he really did play phenomenally.